Hey gang, welcome back to the basics. I know I mentioned in my uh, home defense video earlier about which weapon uh, to choose. I mentioned something about a home defense battle belt. Um, and that's what I'm going to talk about today. I got this idea from another article. I'll put the link down below. This guy had made a similar looking belt. Um, his belt was a little bit more uh, thin and the interior belt was not just a cheap MI or a standard issue gym. GI belt. It was a much nicer one, but um, it was essentially the same the same setup. And uh, I think that the the reason you should consider running a system like this, whether you're running an AR, you know, a shotgun, uh, or even just a pistol, um, is because in the event that you have to defend your home, whether it be in the middle of the day, at night, um, you are likely not going to have time to throw on a chest rig or you know, throw on stuff on your belt. Chances are you don't sleep with a gun on your hip. Um, most people, when they get home, they like to get, be comfortable throwing some shorts or whatever. And this system allows you to go rapidly from uh, having nothing on your body to having essentially the bare essentials um, of a, of a, that you would need for a small firefight. Um, and hopefully that never happens in your home. Chances are you're not going to need an extra magazine. Chances are you're not going to need an extra pistol magazine. Um, you're not going to need a knife. Hopefully you won't need an extra flashlight, but the fact is is that if you're going to carry an extra light, an extra mag, maybe even a knife and some medical kit when you can still carry, why wouldn't you do it at home? Um, you know, you're, you're just as likely to face multiple invaders, um, armed or unarmed, it doesn't matter. Um, and a system like this gives you the ability to, again, rapidly throw on all of the stuff that you might need in that situation. Um, so we'll just go ahead and get into it. This, I've, I've already talked about it, the belt itself, standard GI, runs along the inside, very adjustable, very sturdy, which I liked. Um, the war belt itself is just a condor. Um, I talked about it in another one of my videos. On, yeah, I think it was maybe 40 bucks. And honestly, for the money, I think it's a great, great belt. Um, I'm not going to get into too much depth because I already covered it, but it's got three lines of mole. It's plenty wide. It's padded, very comfortable. It has little... Uh, D-ring looking things here if you want to run suspenders, but bottom line, it's perfect. This holds all the stuff on my waist, no problems. Um, and as you can see, I've got you know my main home defense handgun here, an MP9 full size with the light on there. There's tons of holsters you can put on these sorts of belts. This is just a Kydex one that I loop the belt loops through the mole, the molly. Um, so that works really well. Um, I've got some HSGI uh, magazine pouches here. One's got an extra pistol mag. Um, one's got an extra handheld light. Of course, you should always have a light on your weapon system, but in case that fails, uh, you do have a, a, an external handheld light to go to. Another pouch to hold either an extra AR-15 magazine or um, if you want to run an extra shotgun card. Like I said, God forbid, and, and you know, ho hopefully you'd never have to actually use an extra 30 rounds or slap another one of these on your gun, but... Um, it's just value added. The guy in the, uh, in the article, he chose to put a cell phone in here so we could have consistent comms with, you know, getting in touch with the authorities or whatever. I, I like the idea. I think it's important to have consistent comms. For me, what I would probably do is just run the magazine, and then when I put the belt on, just, like, slip the phone between the belt and my purse. He also had a tourniquet mounted up here at, like, the 1 o'clock. Um... I've got mine in a little tourniquet case. I'm, I'm usually going to the range a lot and doing a lot of different things, so I kind of just keep this off, and then uh, if I need it, I'll just kind of throw it on. But I probably am going to buy an extra tourniquet and just, you know, throw some uh, some rubber bands on here. I think at least having a tourniquet is a great idea because in the event that you need a tourniquet, time is 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 super valuable. You know, you might you might uh, have anywhere between you know 45 seconds to a, co a couple minutes, depending on what kind of wound it is, and you know depending on where you keep your um, your medical supplies, you might not be able to grab a tourniquet. So having at least that on your belt, I think, is very important. Um, and of course, you could put a full blowout kit on here; it wouldn't take up that much space. I think medical is super important. Um, even if you don't get shot, if one of your family members does, you don't have to go run around and grab your bag; it's just right there. Um, a knife is another interesting thing he had on his that I'd never thought about. Of course, in a home defense scenario, you know, you're talking about pretty close engagements. Um, and having a knife on there, again, chances are you're never going to need it. But in the event that you're 
uh, primary or even secondary runs out of ammo or you get a malfunction, you don't have time to fix that problem, you can go to a quick, uh, quick answer like this. You know, again, it's probably not going to be a decisive end to the fight, but this is going to give you uh, a better edge, literally, than using, you know, an empty gun or your fists. And this is just a little K-bar knife here. It fits the hand really well, has a really nice curve to it. You can grab onto it real nice. And the way I have it set up on the belt, you can either reach over and grab it from the with your right hand, or you can just reach down and grab it and pull it up this way from your left hand. So it's pretty versatile there. Um, and that's pretty much it guys. Uh, again, I think a lot of people might look at this and say, oh, you're being paranoid. You know, you don't need that for home defense and chances are you're right. Um, and I think the main thing that I get out of this system isn't so much that I need extra magazines. I need medical, I need a knife, but it's that I can have my pistol on me. I can have an extra mag and a flashlight and a couple things extra that I might need. And it's all on one system that I can throw on no matter what I'm wearing. Heck, if I have to jump out of the shower naked, I can throw this on. I'm good to go. Um, and then you can see if you read the article, the guy said, hey, if you have to answer the door late at night, throw a bathrobe over it, it'll conceal pretty good. So that's why I like it. I don't really think, you know, you'll need most of this stuff, but it's good to have. It's just value added. It keeps all your home defense stuff nice and tidy in there and mobile. So you can throw it on and walk through the house, no problem. Especially if you choose to run a long gun uh, as your primary. You could easily throw this on again, have extra ammo um, and extra light because uh, these weapon lights might fail too. And then in the event that this goes down or it's wrestled away from you or it has a malfunction, whatever, you can easily transition to your secondary. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I know another popular option out there is like having some, uh, some, some plates, running some plates for home defense. I think it's a great idea. I don't have any right now. Um, I know you can pick some up for really cheap on AR500.com. It's only like 65 bucks for a plate. That'll stop, uh, you know, 308, 556, all that stuff at pretty close range. So I might look into something like that at some point, and you could put all the same stuff on there. Um, but just think about it, guys. You know, your home defense, you need to have a plan, choose the right weapon. And then is there something easy and, and relatively cheap like this that you could set up just to give you that extra edge in the case that you have to use it? Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Looking forward to my next video. As always, please leave comments. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, look forward to the next one.